Once upon a time, in a peaceful pond surrounded by tall grasses and blooming flowers, there lived a little frog named Freddy. Freddy wasn't always a frog, though. He had a very special journey ahead of him. Let me tell you the story of Freddy's life cycle. One warm spring day, Freddy's mother, a wise old frog, swam through the pond looking for the perfect place to lay her eggs. She found a quiet spot on a lily pad and carefully laid hundreds of tiny jelly-like eggs. These eggs would soon hatch into little tadpoles. Freddy was one of those eggs, snug and safe inside his tiny jelly-covered home. Freddy's mother gently swam around, protecting the eggs until they began to hatch. Freddy was still very small, and his world was just a little bubble of warm water inside the egg. One day, Freddy felt a gentle wiggle. The egg cracked open and out he swam a tiny tadpole. Freddy was amazed by the world around him. The pond water felt cool and he could see other tadpoles wiggling nearby. They all swam happily, tails swishing and fins fluttering. At first, Freddy couldn't breathe air. He had gills that helped him breathe underwater, and his long, strong tail made him a great swimmer. Every day, Freddy and his friends ate algae and small plants from the bottom of the pond, growing bigger and stronger. But something strange started to happen as Freddy grew older. He noticed that his tail was getting shorter and tiny legs began to grow. What's happening to me? Freddy wondered. His tail shrank more and tiny legs grew stronger with each passing day. One sunny day, Freddy felt something wonderful happen. His tail disappeared. He now had two strong hind legs, a pair of front legs and a shiny smooth body. Freddy was a little frog now, though still small and young. At first, Freddy felt a little unsure of himself. He had to learn how to jump. His leaps were small and he would often land with a little splash in the water. But with practice, Freddy got better and better at hopping from rock to rock and across lily pads. He spent his days jumping, exploring and catching insects with his long, sticky tongue. Freddy was growing up fast, his legs became strong, and his skin turned a beautiful shade of green. He was no longer just a young frog. He was a full-grown adult. Freddy could now live on both land and water. He could hop from the pond to the grassy meadows and sit in the sun. One day Freddy met a female frog, and together they spent their days in the warm sun, hopping and playing. Freddy remembered his mother's soft croak as she called out to him all those years ago. Now it was his turn. Freddy's wife would soon lay her own eggs and start the cycle all over again. And so, Freddy the frog lived happily in the pond, a full-grown frog with a family of his own. He would always remember his days as a tiny egg, a curious tadpole, and a young frog learning to jump. Freddy knew that, just like him, every frog has a unique and amazing journey to live. And that, my friends, is the story of the incredible life cycle of Freddy the Frog.